Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I'm going to be showing you how, I, how to make a cluster bomb in Minecraft with TNT. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to have four redstone, two repeaters, up to four dispensers, and as much TNT as you want. Now, how you're going to want to set it up is just like this. Now, you don't want to tick it anymore, you just kind of want to have it on the opposite sides. See what I'm talking about? So, then what you're gonna want oops. Then what you're gonna want to do is place the redstone just like this. So we're done with the repeaters and done with the redstone. Now you're gonna want to place dispensers facing up. Or just as many dispensers as you want they need to be facing up though. Then you're gonna want to put the TNT in them. Because dispensers, when they are activated, when they spit out TNT, they spit out live TNT. Then, with one redstone torch, you're going to have to do this really fast or else it'll only spit out one TNT. You have to place it and break it as fast as you can. So, watch. Then it'll start the clock, and TNT will... Yeah. Cluster bomb, everybody. <laughs> so, if you want to know how it does this, um, it's kind of easy to just, okay, you know, if you're going to want to know how it does this, how it spits out the TNT rapidly, is if you place repeaters just like this, and redstone just like this, then you have some kind of thing that activates redstone on one of the redstone parts, and you place it and break it really fast, that wasn't really a good example, but if you place it and break it really fast, then it'll start a clock, it'll just keep on ticking until you break one of the redstones. So basically, you can do anything with it rapidly. So let's say I wanted some. Right, you can't put in. Let's say I wanted a lot of lava. So I'm gonna get four. I'm gonna get a lot of lava buckets. what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a lot of lava buckets. Okay. Alright, so now that we have the lava, I'm gonna stop the clock real quick. And then... I'm going to put three lava buckets in each of these. So let's get some more lava buckets. And then we're going to start the timer. And, well, you guys know what's going to happen. It's going to rapidly sp sp It actually looks cool. Okay, but yeah, so that's what happens, and yeah, it's not really effective with lava or water, but this can actually be pretty effective, um, because you can have it slow and fast. Example, so you can have it any speed you want, well, not really any, but you get, you get what I mean. <laughs> um, so let's just, then let's tick these both once. Then we're going to start the clock again, and you see how it's slower? So then I just tick them both once again. And now you see how it's slower. <laughs> then let's do it one more time, tick them both again, and it's a lot slower. So, so basically... You can't change the speed while it's going, or else you're going to have to reset again. So now it's fast. Again. So, and then it just rapidly spits out TNT, and when one of the TNT explodes, it, it, um, it just splatters them all everywhere. Kind of like a TNT cannon. Yeah, it's like a TNT cannon, but improved. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little tutorial, and I will see you guys next time. And peace. Peace, guys.